fellow Kodi users, today we're going to show you how to fully install the latest version on Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV. It's very important for you to actually enable the apps from unknown sources on your Amazon Fire TV, otherwise this will not work. Once you do so, you have to download and install what is known as the File ES Explorer, which is an app that will allow you to access the Kodi website and download the Kodi software. Now, we will look for it under search ES File Explorer, as you can see, or ES Explorer, and we simply hit OK and download it. Once we download it, we open it, and then we simply access the F Explore File Manager and type in Kodi. Now, this is very important because most people miss this part and they try to download it directly and it doesn't work. You do have to download the ES File Explorer in order to enable Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV. It's for all versions of the Amazon Fire. Uh, some people do have issues with these and we are making a new tutorial because from the latest tutorial they were complaining constantly about not being able to download it. The thing is that since Kodi updates its website constantly, sometimes you do lose the link and it's very difficult to download the Kodi. So first step, download the ES File Explorer. Once it is installed, we will show you what to do next. We open and we then go to the ES Explorer. Now, some people create a pad. What we will do is create a favorite because we will always be using the Kodi website to download the latest version of the Kodi software. So what we do is type the pad, which is the direction for Kodi. It's HTTP semicolon or colon, I'm sorry, slash slash Kodi K O D I dot tv and we simply name it Cody. We will add this as a favorite because we will be using it a lot. So it's just for you guys to have it there on your menu on the file ES manager to make things easy. Some people will rather prefer just to go and access it once on the web browser but it, it really makes it easy for you to add it as a favorite. So we just hit OK. It will take us to the Cody website. Now, this is very important. The Kodi website changes a lot, so you do have to be very, very patient and browse all those sites all the way down. Some people will just complain about not finding in the download link. It's very simple. Just go all the way down with your controller, keep scrolling down, and go to the sections that says download the older versions. Because if you try to hit click on any of these, well, we will just show you. Hit click on Android and it will tell you Tell, take us to the Android page. Don't click on these icons because you you cannot do it because they are flash animations. So it's really complicated. You have to go all the way down to the one that says older releases and point where it says here, and then you click on your remote controller or hit OK, and it will open you a dialog box and it should open. This is very important. If you don't see it, it's because you're having issues with your internet or you don't have a DNS or even I don't. It might be an issue with your system. We go to releases, and this is another very critical part. The Amazon Fire runs on Android. We have to choose the ARM version always because that's what runs the best on the Amazon Fire. And we choose the 32 bits, not the 64 because Amazon Fires run on 32 bits. So you hit OK, and then you move the cursor to the right and down until you get highlighted the options that says more. As you can see, it's sometimes tricky, but once you get more, you go open in browser. Then you hit OK, and it should open. Click ES Downloader just once, and there you go. It will start downloading the file. It might take some time. I warn you, it depends on your internet connection and how many people are sharing or downloading the app at the same time. So we will fast forward this. You can see it's almost done. Once you finish downloading, you just go and hit install. Open file. Move the cursor and hit open file. And now you go to install. 
and it should start to install by itself. Now, we already had Kodi installed on the from the previous versions, so, we so what we will do is just choose all, and then we will hit install. <coughs> And we'll leave it running there. Now, uh, in our case, because we already had Kodi installed previously, we all of the add-ons we downloaded previously, as well as the, some of the apps and other add-ons, most of it shall actually remain untouched. So we will have access to all of our movies and the IPTVs and so on and so forth. So there's no need to reprogram if you had Kodi previously installed. But if you're doing this from scratch and you are installing a new version of Kodi, you will have to do some programming as well, which we will show you how to do. You can see running Kodi 17.3 Krypton for the first time. You have to wait, be a little patient. And TV add-on, which is pretty much the start screen for, for Kodi every time you open it. <coughs> Sorry. And there you go. You can see that it is updating to all of our previously configured Kodi from the previous version. Our add-ons are there, so that's pretty much all you have to do if you're just updating. If you're installing a new, from scratch to 17.3, you do have to make some additional steps. The first one is go to the file manager and then you will add a source. And in this case, since we want to install Fusion, which has a lot of content, we will do so. so just hit the OK and then go and type the path, which is HTTP colon and then slash slash and I think it's fusion, if I'm not mistaken, F-U-S-I-O-N, fusion dot add-ons, um, I think it is add-ons, no, sorry, fusion TV add-ons. dot ag <coughs> and then slash we we'll hit ok and then we we'll ask us for a name and we simply name it fusion now this is only if you are installing the Kodi Krypton 17.3 from scratch, which means that you had nothing previously configured, no add-ons, no whatsoever. Just hit OK. And what this will do is that it will download some stuff, like a zip file, which you can use later. Now we go to system settings. It's also very important for you to enable on Kodi uh, unknown sources. Otherwise, you might not be able to install a lot of stuff very good also if you do enable the automatic updates as you can see install updates automatically because it pretty much takes care of updating all of your stuff so once you hit install indigo which is we will show you real quick we go here and then we go well you can see that it pretty much after it runs again it does an auto update but I will show you how to do it you just go install from zip file and then it says begin here and you hit the ok from install from zip file and what it will do it's run indigo and pretty much once it start running indigo is part of the tv the fusion tv add-ons it will just start to update all of the add-ons that do come with fusion so that's one of the advantages of just running it this way it makes life it simpler it's not really complicated you just have to wait for it to download and configure and since we already had the auto updates enabled it will do the same for fusion i mean phoenix also for Exodus and so on and so forth. So there's not much to worry about, but this is only if, like I said before, you're installing Kodi 17.3 for the first time. If you're only updating, pretty much all that you had before configured shall keep and should be kept and remain the same. Now, we'll show you. We go to add-ons and you can see Exodus is there and Indigo as well and all of the other add-ons that do come with Fusion. So what we do is we'll show you real quick Exodus there you go. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial worked for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter. We're on the twitter.com slash blimportpanama on YouTube. We're also on facebook.com slash rokupanama and on our official website, which is blimport.com. Thanks for watching and we hope you guys 
Make the most out of coding. Bye.